Well, hello, it's Jim Reesmer, and today I'm going to show you how to test the polarity of a speaker system. So these are my new old speakers. It's uh, Philips, Philips uh, speakers from the 70s, and you can see this connection here. Uh, it absolutely will not let you mess up polarity, except I don't have a 70s um, Philips amplifier, so, well, I can't really use these. So I don't really know what is the polarity of it. And first thing I will tell you about polarity is that it doesn't really matter as long as all your speakers are connected up with the same polarity. So this one and this one connected the same way and it will cause no issues. If you connect the polarity of these two speakers wrong, uh, so the one is inverted and the other one is uh, not inverted, then you will hear a really weird sound because the sound waves will kind of take out each other. So it sounds a little bit like uh, there is something wrong with the sound, like the bass sounds really disappear if you have one of them wrong and one of them right. And if both are wrong, well, the sound is basically indistinguishable from both connected, like wrong or right. It doesn't really matter. Just uh, they need to be connected the same. In some rare cases, you have, might have some internal filters or something in the speaker using some kind of diodes that would be uh, that would make the sound not work when inverted, but uh, for like speakers in general, it doesn't matter if both are connected the same way. But we want to be right, so we're going to make sure it is right. So even though it's uh, okay to be kind of wrong and put both inverted the same way, it's more fun to be 100% right. So I'm just going to put some crocodile clips on these uh, connections here so that I can test them properly. Make sure they don't connect to each other like that. Very nice. So uh, then we're going to use a weak battery. This is a AAA 1.5 volt battery. And when we are using batteries to test the polarity, um, there is a chance we damage the coils inside of uh, uh, the speakers. So really take one of these one and a half volt batteries. Don't use the nine volt batteries because uh, the, the more current there is, like the stronger the voltage, the more chance you have to actually damage the speakers. So uh, better use one of these and only test it for short periods of time. So then you just uh, try it and I've put the camera here so in an angle so hopefully it, you will be able to see it but you take the battery here and you just quickly dab it a little bit here on the connection and just notice how the membranes move so if you look closely when I just dash there you can see it pulled it down this means that uh, this is the wrong way because when you to, uh, when you put the terminal to the plus side, then it should be uh, moving outwards. So I reverse the battery here and try it again. And now you can see it moves upwards slightly. And notice I only test it quick in quick bursts like that to decrease the chance of damaging anything. I'll just give it one more try to make you see. Just like that. It moves upwards. So that means that the red cable I connected onto here is the positive and the black one is the negative as it should be. So then I know how to connect, uh, connect up these into the amplifier. The positive goes to the positive, the negative goes to the negative. Um, and do the same for the other speaker. That's the most important. Both these speakers need to be connected up the same. Otherwise, you will have not solved any problem. So I hope this video did help you find the polarity of your speakers. And well, don't be afraid of getting some good old secondhand speakers because you can get a lot better sounds for um, a lot less money. In any case, see you next time. This is Jim Edison signing out.